What white do you have with India? Well, it depends on the Indian, I suppose. Some like white and of course there's a red Indian. Indian food? One last name or a shop's next door. No, Kelvin and I are cooking her and Jagger's an Indian Sunday lunch. It's a surprise. Oh, not in here as well. What have you done to Pete? You've been getting these produce? No, I'm the one that's being got at. What have I done? Flaunting that. You've got a nerve to come to my store wearing that. It's not just you. I've been wearing it all round the market. It's only a badge, Pete. Women reclaim the night, but I know some of them are nights any time she likes. Yeah, we're well, offensive. Yeah, we're well, not being free to walk around at night, isn't all. Look, she's having a pop at me. I know she is. I'm entitled to a view. Pete, calm down. Go on, take it. How else are you going to pay your fine? Calvin, I've been called back into work. Oh. Hello, lovebirds. Here, listen, what about this shopping then? Calvin, she's at risk. Do you think she's turning to an alky or something? Nah, she's just a bit woozy, that's all. That's Ange. Anyway, listen, what about the shopping? I mean, what do I eat for starters? Don't make them sound like Martians. I've got the veg, you get the meat. Now, I think there's a list back in my file at the flat. Dietary do's and don'ts, OK? Thanks. Here, Ange. You don't know what Bengalis eat, do you? Eh? Oh, um, they're the same as Muslims, aren't they? I think you have to get the stuff from one of them what you call it butchers, you know, halal butchers. Oh, that's all right. I know a good beef recipe there. No, they can't eat beef. I like a bit of pork myself. Oh, pork. That's an idea, eh? Weekends, eh? I used to love weekends. Don't you just love weekends, eh? Going down the market on a Saturday with your mates. Oh, we used to have a laugh. <laughs> Cooking Sunday dinner. The smell of it. Roast beef in Yorkshire, pork and crackling. Mind you, living in hotels finished all that for me, ain't it? Still, one consolation. At least if I'm on my own, I've got the satisfaction of knowing he is too. Hmm. Here you are. Weekend break, catch the Queen Vic. It might not be Venice, but it'd be the next best thing, I promise. Glad you're yeah, come, let's go up. Everyone to their own taste, I've got to tell Barry. At least have the decency to warn me when you're rushing off. But... Yeah, give us some time off. Rip water sometimes. Sure you should. You've been in it a bit today. Oh, he was supposed to be selling the stuff, remember? Same old bit. Same old booze out and let them get on with it. Oh, it's nice being able to just walk in. No deception, no waiting for anyone to go out. Free just to arrive. Yeah, well, I'm glad you have arrived. I'll even managed to get the same one we had in Venice. <laughs> I've thought about being there. I thought it's a long time since I've been here, let alone Venice. At least we don't have to go on meeting in that wretched wine bar anymore. Yeah, well, I know you're not keen on this place. I'm not going to ask you to do anything. I'm not even going to ask you to fit in. I'm not just sure I fit in myself anymore. I'll come and let's forget all about it. We're travelling like the whole weekend. Up you go. Hey. Yeah, don't give him the satisfaction. Look, Tom, I'm just gonna sit. I'm minding my own business. He won't see me, he can't see me. Oh, Angie, 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 come on, 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 She's asleep now. I tell you, I could have strangled her. What's the point in shouting? Well, shouldn't you ring them Al-Anon people? You even got me ten peas ready. Mark's G, I went down to the lobby to phone. Then I thought of how Litton and lost me mum look when I tucked her up in bed. Mm, where's it all going to end, eh? But once I phone Si, then it's serious. Well, it makes me mum a statistic, doesn't it, on the list of no-opers. And she's not Si, she's me mum. Hey, Twinkle Joe, you want to go slow or what? And there goes your dad, bang on cue. Wixie, speak to Dennis. I'm coming, Dan. She's growing up. Yeah, well, she's not going out with a barman. You don't know for certain that she is. Well, I can't trust Angie to look after her. Do you know what really hurts? The fact that Sharon doesn't want to see me again. I mean, I can't imagine anyone not wanting to see you. No. Nah. Angie's taken me for everything I've got, including my own daughter. I always knew she was dangerous, but now I know she's downright evil. All lonely. She must be lonely. She's lost her husband, her job, her home, all in one go. Oh, come on. Why do we always end up talking about my family? Probably because I haven't got one to talk about. This is supposed to be a special weekend and we're travelling light, remember? I always was. Excuse me. Who you got down here? Come on, Roddy, get a woo! 
Look, either that or way. Who was just here? No one. Well, can't you go to bed? We'd like some time on our own. I know the feeling then. Was that Sharon? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you should have stopped the night with me. Yeah. Well, you didn't have to go back to the hotel, did you? Why don't you stay here, Sharon? I hate to think you're going back there. Look, she does it again and we'll off her. Anyone serving? Quick save! Get on there! Have you eaten Wixie? I haven't even seen him. Wixie, where are you? No need to see out there. Well, where were you? Well, I was just back there. Doing what? What's that smell? I gave her that for her birthday. Has she just been in? No, you know she won't come in here then. Left? Of course I'm left. I mean, can you see me go to Tori? I mean, just because I do a bit for myself. No, I do. I want to know. You don't need to know, then. I only work here, not my dad. Oh, that's a thought. You as a son-in-law. Now, is that on the cards? Look, I don't want to discuss it. Oh, you're just practicing on her, are you? We need some more mixes. Bobby, I want to have a word with you. Don't I get a please anymore, then? You've been messing with Sharon. Messing with Sharon? Yeah, well, I think the world of her, so I want to know what's going on. Well, I think the world of her too, then, all right? But it's private, I don't want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, well, I do. Everything you touch, you spoil. Oh, you're talking about Angel, I suppose. Well, you've seen it all, you've done it all, and you spoil it all. Well, she's the one who got bitter and twisted. I was like you, I was Jack the Lab. We were the perfect couple until she started. You mean, until you started fooling around? And you wouldn't. Sharon's a nice girl, but you go down the road, there's another and another and another. Well, who says it's got to be like you, then? Just because you messed up your life, you can't bear to see us setting up ours, is that it? I'm just trying to give you the benefit of my experience. Yeah, well done, all right? Well, I've tried to be civilised with you. You just asked her to spend the night with you, didn't you? I heard you on the phone trying to trap her, you simpering little she voice. She doesn't need trapping, then. She likes me. Yeah, but my daughter's not going out with a barman. Oh, well, what's wrong with being a barman? You're only a glorified barman yourself, and you're allowed to get off a little Miss Iron Mighty up there, aren't you? Yeah, well, you leave her out and of You it. can't live with Angie. Jan won't stay, now, and Sharon won't want to see you if you're the last person on Earth. But she does want to see me, then. And boss or no boss, you try and stop us, and I'll give you the fight of your life. <laughs> oh, fancy your chances, do you? I'm 20 years younger than you, then, and chances don't come into it. Don't, Dan. You may be right. 